few family farming operations survive an unexpected change to the management ownership of their farming business, as well as a family crisis situation and still remain profitable. Initiating transition planning strategies in a family farming operation will ensure a future vision for the farming legacy. This brief video will provide for you how to get started and tools through K-State Research and Extension. Hello, my name is Sandra Wood. I'm the Crop Production Agent with the Post Rock District of K-State Research and Extension. Today I have with me Dr. Ron Hansen. He is Professor Emeritus from the University of Nebraska and he is an expert about farm succession, farm transition planning. So if you didn't realize it, Kansas farmers average age ranges from 58 to 60 years old. So if you do some calculations, maybe in the next 15 to 20 years, there could be a lot of farm succession or farm planning that should be taking place. So Dr. Hansen, if we have like an 80, let's say in the 80s, 85 year old landowners, mom and dad, okay? okay. And they have three to four children and they're in their 60s. They've done absolutely nothing to make sure that that family farm stays in the family. What should be their first step or how can they get started? Well, your question is right on target. Um, the point is that many of those families just the thought of succession planning is overwhelming. Where do I begin? How do I accomplish this? And many times parents, as they get older, as you pointed out, um, they have the fears of what if someday I die and I'm no longer on my farm? What if I turn over my farm and somebody screws up and mismanages my farm and there's losses? Or what if I pass on my farm and the children just sell it and take the cash with today's land prices. And, and those are fears, and those fears can paralyze the discussion process. Um, those fears become roadblocks to where you've got parents, as you perfectly said, in their 80s with children maybe in their 60s, and nothing is yet to be done. And so it's just realizing that in that family, if we are serious about keeping our farm in our family and those next generation family members on that farm, we've got to sit down and have a plan um, so there's no misunderstandings, no disputes, and everyone knows that when and if something happens, particularly mom and dad, what happens next? Who takes over, how they take over, when they take over. And that requires the family to sit down and communicate. That requires the family members all together to work together. And the starting point is the parents. This is their farm. And so they need to have a vision for their farm and what it is they want to accomplish. And then once they have that vision, mom and dad together agreeing, then they need to draft out their ideas, their plans, their intentions. And once they have that in place, an idea of what they want to accomplish, then most importantly, they've got to search out the resource team to help them take that first step to get with the right professionals. Kansas State Extension and Research is an excellent starting place. You've got the Kansas Farm Management Association. You've got the Kansas Agricultural Mediation Service, and you've got the brand new Office of Farm and Ranch Transition on the K-State campus. And those resources are right at the fingertips. All it takes is a phone call, an appointment to get that journey started. And it is a journey, it's not, there's no shortcuts to this process. You've got to work at it, you've got to be committed, you've got to make it happen, you've got to make sure everyone is working together, communicating together, but it can happen. And keeping a farm in a family, continuing that family legacy is extremely, extremely important because strong families are priceless. Okay, so Dr. Hansen, I'd like to thank you for um, maybe trying to get the step started in farm families. As you mentioned, there are several resources available here in Kansas. They are not alone. 
And so the first step would be to call our Post Rock Extension District and we can line okay, and we can Absolutely. line you up with all the resources that are available out there. So if you have more questions, uh, give us a call at our Post Rock Extension District. We have five offices. It would be Beloit, Lincoln, Mankato, Osborne, and Smith Center. So this has been Sandra Wick, Crop Production Agent with the Post Rock District, and we will see you later. Hello everyone, my name is Blair Todd. I'm the Livestock Production Agent for the Post Rock District of Kansas State Research and Extension. Uh, with me I have Ashley Westerholt. She's the Director of the new Office of Ranch and Farm and Ranch Transition at the K-State campus. Um, I'm going to have Ashley here just kind of tell us what kind of resources are available at the Office of Farm and Ranch Transition. Transition. Yeah, thank you, Blair. Um, so the Office of Farm and Ranch Transition opened last year by me entering into the role of director. Um, so we have been online since February of 2022. Um, my office, we have three main objectives or places that we like to help people and what we offer. Uh, the first is a land link program. So you might be asking, what is a land link program? We have a curated matching process where we are trying to match beginning farmers and ranchers that are really interested in getting into farming or ranching and they don't have the opportunity to do so um, with people who don't have anyone interested in coming back and really want their land tied to another family or another young person. Um, and so we have a matching process where we're trying to match those beginning farmers and ranchers with those who do not have an interested party coming back. The second part of my job uh, that I love and the second service my office provides is one-on-one -on -one consultations with farm families. So we work with farm families through the transition process as a succession planning facilitator. I work with farm families um, almost weekly going through the process of how to start these conversation, what are those goals that you want to set, um, how do all the other family members play into this succession planning process? And what does it look like? Um, we ground truth things. We include your accountant. We include your attorney, financial planners, your team of professionals. There needs to be a quarterback or someone who is trying to bring all these pieces together for you and keep you accountable through this process. So my office provides that. And then lastly, we have beginning farmer rancher trainings on K-State campus. So if you have a student coming to K-State, um, they're interested in agriculture or returning to the farm someday, we actually have classes in the Ag Econ department for those students so that they can approach college and really get ready to be that next generation on the farm. So that's my office in a nutshell. Um, I answer phone calls. I try to get you in the right spot. So even if your question does not apply to my office, I can still get um, you some answers through K-State. So. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of great resources at that, at that office that you guys provide. Um, if you want to get a hold of Ashley, you can call any of our Post Rock Extension offices. Um, all of our offices are located in Lincoln, Beloit, Mankato, Smith Center, and Osborne. You can give any of us a call and we'll be happy to get you um, in contact with Ashley. This is Blair Todd, Livestock Production Agent, Post Rock District.